Hi everyone, I'm Emily Canal. I'm Inc.'s resident Shark Tank expert, and this is Tips from the Tank. So, on the most recent episode of Shark Tank, a founder named Lisa D'Amato came on and pitched her company Dare You Go, which is this line of reusable children's bids that basically have storage compartments, and if your child doesn't finish the food, you can seal it up and close it. No more waste. Dare you go, sharks. Lisa D'Amato told the Sharks that she sold $100,000 worth of product in the last three months, and that's the three months coming up to her taping the show. She said that's the three months that she's also been on the market. So that's pretty impressive. They were really into the sales figures, especially since she's a brand new company. If you see any other bib on the market, their price point is exactly the same as mine, and it's only one function. This is four in one. She went on the show seeking $350,000 for 10% of the company. And she mentions that she's a big fan of Shark Tank and the, the, you know, the sharks are really digging it. She has this very compelling personal backstory about overcoming an eating disorder. And you know, that's why she wants to have this product. She wants to be a good mom. I got through it all and I am now the mom that I've always, I never had. And then the sharks ask, you know, hey, where do you see the growth of your company going? And she mentions, you know, based on global market statistics of the, you know, children's apparel industry. That's the bib industry within that number is 7.7%. Got which it. Which equals. There you go. 15, 15 billion dollars. And Mark Cuban just starts shouting, you're a liar, you're a liar. You lied to us. When, when? You lied to us. When? You lied to us. When? And she looks completely puzzled as to why he's doing that. And, and here's the thing, if you're someone who's a huge Shark Tank fan like myself, or if you've even watched five episodes, you know that if we mention global statistics of a market to the sharks, they immediately stop listening to you. Because that doesn't really show your company's growth. Your company would be a sliver of that, so it's really not indicative as to how much your company can advance or uh, how much promise it might have. Basically, Mark goes out right after that. So for those reasons, I'm out. Kevin offers her a deal. He says he'll give her $100,000 in cash plus the $250,000 in debt, or 15% of a company. And, you know, she doesn't seem too thrilled by this. So Barbara asked for 50% of the company, and she said it was because she needed to be an equal partner in the business. You're all over the place and I'm concerned of you being half of what a business needs to grow. So I think you need a partner. Lisa D'Amato, who has a background in reality TV, she was on America's Next Top Model. She was a great front face of the company. She was passionate and energetic, but she didn't seem to have the business savvy that, that the Sharks wanted to see in an entrepreneur. She had a great idea, she had a good looking product and an ability to sell it, but they didn't see the other aspects of founder that they wanted to be heard. Because if I were to go through every one of my top businesses, every one of them is headed by an entrepreneur that came through hell and back. Interesting. In that time, Barbara Corcoran offers her a deal. It's the same sort of structure, $100,000 cash for $250,000 in debt. And she proposes 35% equity. Lisa takes the deal and leaves the tank pretty happy. OK, Barbara. I'll make a deal with you. you I got think it. that sounds great. Congratulations. The three main takeaways from this episode are, one, make sure if you're when you're pitching the sharks or any investor that you balance a personal story and really sell your product because these people want to invest in you as in yourself and the company that you create. Secondly, don't overvalue your company. It's a very, very quick way to get the sharks asking a lot of questions to raise the amount of equity they want in your company because they feel like you need some business sense. And honestly, it shows that you don't know what you were doing. Lastly, don't cite market stats as a way to showcase your company's growth. It doesn't work. And as you can see, it really pisses off the sharks. You could totally blow your chance to work with Mark Cuban, who is, you know, almost everyone's favorite shark. So don't screw up a chance to have him invest in your company. When you talk about your company's growth, talk about yours, not the market. I'm Emily Canal. That was Tips from the Tank. And remember, don't ever cite market statistics.